Hello. In this video, we will try to mimic that look, the wedding look. So let's start. Let's add a cylinder, not that cylinder, and make the height something like 750. And I will duplicate that by pressing Ctrl and Move. And I will make another one. And I will select both of them and decrease the radius. Something like that. Now I will let pull to do our scene. And I will put my first cylinder at second one and make the boolean A union A B union B. So this will merge them. I will put another bool to the same thing. A union B. Before making it editable, I will select my cylinders and I will copy them. Now I will make the bool editable by pressing C and I will also paste those cylinders and I will disable them for now. Now I will go to my selection and select pet selection. Now I will select those merge merged edges. I will go to mesh conversion edge to spline. Now we can delete that mesh and I will remove some unused or unnecessary points. Okay, that looks cool. Let's select the spline and I will change the type to B spline to make it smoother and make that subdivided. Now I will add disk and make it smaller. And now I will add cloner object and put the disk in that. And I will change my cloner's mode to object and put the spline in the object tab. Now I will change the distribution to step. And I will lower that step. Something like that. Now let's go to transform and give some rotation. Okay, now I will press Alt and click cloud surface but I don't want subdivision I want some thickness like minus 3 okay now 
let's open our cylinders we need we need to move some points of spline so select your spline and go to select the points mode okay that looks okay let's move to the next part now i will add volume measure and volume builder and put my cloner under the volume builder and i will decrease the size to around 0.5 and I will put the volume builder into the volume measure that looks too sharp so I will go to my builder and add a STF smooth this is too much of course I and on the series so I will put 50 maybe 30 Let's make it 25. It looks okay, but too uniform. So I will select my cloner and add a random effector. But before that, I will turn off the volume. And now I will s click random. It's too much, of course make them zero and a little and let's give some scale variation something like that Okay, let's turn on the volume.
Alright, let's see the reference in which. It's close enough, we can play with the points of the spline. But turn off the volume, it will be faster. Okay, close enough. You can play it by yourself. Let's see the polygon count. It's too much, of course. You can use adaptive thresholds. Or you can use the new. Where is that? Remesh object I will put the volume inside the mesh and I will make a 10,000 polygon mesh It is up to you. You can make whatever polygon count you want, or you don't even need, need the remesh. You can just use that. You can also save that. Uh, object in your library and you can use it whenever you want you just need to change this plan and it will be automatically be replaced and it, it will look really realistic with your renders Finishing, I went. I, I will just a little adjustment. Okay, that's, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.